it's me, Abby Kaczynski, a real life scientist in real life. That's my job. And and that's who I am. I'm here to teach you guys about thallium poisoning. Here in the science lab, we do a lot of fun, cool, super cool experiments. Science is really fun, kids, but don't do it on your own without an adult supervision. Who knows what can happen with all those harsh, cool chemicals? You know what I mean? One of my favorite elements that I always want to talk about in the science lab is thallium. Today, we're going to learn a little bit, a little bit, a little something about some thallium. But not just about the element and the neutrons and the electrons. That's not what we're here to learn about today in the science lab. We're here to learn about thallium poisoning. Let's get started. Thallium sulfate, a highly toxic drug. 16 milligrams per kilogram kills 50% of the population. That's pretty wild. It's known as highly toxic. We live in America, and kilograms mean nothing to us. One gram of thallium sulfate kills a 135 pound human being. Also, it has other uses besides just death. Use an imitation jewelry. Green fireworks. Artist paint. Low temperature thermometer. That's pretty cool. This is a thallium sulfate molecule. Notice how there's four oxygens, one sulfur, and two thalliums. However, these oxygens look a little different. That's because they're negative ions. The negative charge, which means the thallium ions, which have a positive charge, attach right there, making it. TL2SO4. S, four O's, two thalliums. That's pretty cool. Thallium sulfate is pretty rad. Some of the symptoms include severe pain in your arms, severe pain in your legs, severe stomach aches. Irregularities in your bowel movements and urine movements. Your nerve endings will give off a burning sensation. You'll have an irregularity in your pulse. You'll lose your hair. Changes to your nails and teeth. You'll die due to heart failure. These symptoms go on for three to a few weeks. Three days to a few weeks. Wow, that just doesn't sound fun. <laughs> the problem with detecting thallium sulfate in your food and everything is that it's extremely hard to detect. It has very close similarities to potassium ions and sodium ions. So looking at it chemically, it doesn't make you know much sense that it wouldn't be in your right? There's one way to detect it though, although it's not approved yet. It's still patent pending. It's called an HM detection card. What an HM detection card does is it uses specific microencapsulated reagents that will change it to a black gray color in the presence of thallium ions, but not in sodium or potassium ions. So you can tell when it's in your food, which is 
waiting to kill ya. See, I bet you're probably wondering, are there any treatments for thallium sulfate poisoning? What if I get poisoned? Am I just gonna die of all those horrible symptoms for three to a few weeks? What's gonna happen to my heart? Will it just fail? Well, you're in luck. There's a couple treatments. Just one, though. One very well-known treatment that you can go to. First, get yourself to a doctor. You need to be at the doctor's office for this to work because the treatment's called Prussian Blue. And it's also highly toxic. It'll kill you if not administered properly. Too much in your system, you'll die. There's a lot of horrible symptoms to go along with that, too. However, it counter effects everything that thallium does. So just the right amount administered under medical supervision, and you just have a chance of surviving. If you get to the doctors early enough, thallium's really deadly. Don't ever, I don't recommend. Zero out of ten. Who? Veronica Monti. Where? Sydney, Australia. Veronica Monti was staying with her daughter, Judy Lulham, and her son-in-law, Judy's husband, Bob Lulham. Suddenly, Bob went to the hospital to get treated for thallium poisoning, which prompted a police investigation. And while they were investigating, Veronica confessed. Why? said everyone. Suicide, said Veronica. You see, Veronica felt extremely guilty because while Judy went to Mass every Sunday, Veronica and Bob were doing a huge no-no in her absence. They were having an affair. The guilt was eating Veronica up inside. It became too much and she put some thallium in a cup of tea for her to drink, which Bob ended up drinking. See, it was all just a wacky accident. Whether or not this is true is unknown. But the jury believed it, and Veronica was let free. She soon after did successfully commit suicide using, surprise, surprise, thallium poisoning. Wow, that sure was a sad case. It didn't end very happy, if you ask me. But most murder cases don't, surprise, surprise. Leave the side. 